In today's video, I'm taking you thrifting with me to thrift stores and vintage shops in Hudson, Wisconsin and River Falls, Wisconsin. I'll also show you the great items that I brought home. So here we go. This is so cute. It's Murano glass. It's so cute. A little no. fish in the cat. <laughs> I love that. How clever. I love that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Can you show me again? So cute. I have wanted one of these. It's so cute. I don't know, budget. I'm like obsessed with I love these. Twelve dollars and this one's cracked, but I really like them. I am taking a picture because I will not spend this. It's $18, but look at that. Green Rooster Syracuse China. All the things. So cool. <laughs> Need is such a funny word. So cute. It's so cool. I saw one that was part of the, uh... This is so cute. Love it. I'm not a fan of spiders, but I did think these were really clever beaded spiders. So if you're into that sort of thing, it's an idea. Good morning, I'm out here on my deck. It's a lovely morning, a little overcast, but it's just lovely. Um, you can see behind me, there are some rugs. So, someone made a comment, they're like, you know, if you put a rug on your deck, it'll cover the spots that are peeling. I was like, we have rugs, and I just didn't think to put them out this year. So thank you for the reminder. Uh, I found them in storage, and so I'm going to put those out today. But anyway, I'm enjoying my morning here on the deck. I'm going to insert the haul for each shop that I went into after each shop so the first haul you'll see is for nostalgia which is the shop we were just in and then i'll do each one as we go but first i just want to say very much thank you to all of you who watch and to those who comment to those who don't comment um, when i was just a viewer on youtube commenting was not really my thing but i did watch some people pretty religiously so i really appreciate you whether you've watched one video or a hundred videos thank you and thank you for those of you who have left nice comments really appreciate it there was a bit of a thing going on in the comments of one of my videos last week i've now deleted it so i don't even worry about going back and looking for it but I'm just, I'm like, I'm not here to give a platform for nastiness. Like that's not what my channel's about. And so I deleted that. It's not that we can't have civil disagreements. I'm all for civil disagreements, but when you start using words that I don't let my children use, I'm not gonna allow them on my channel. And I don't even mean cuss words. There's plenty of nasty words that aren't cusses, cuss words. So anyway, that being said, 
there's really way, 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 way more kindness and just enjoyment and togetherness here on my channel. And I just want to acknowledge that and say thank you. So with that being said, let's move on to the haul. The first one I have is from Nostalgia Vintage and Antiques. Highly recommend this shop. It's in Hudson, Wisconsin, near the Goodwill. So if you go to Goodwill and then you can just drive down the street and it's right around the block. And I spent $13.19 on three items. And oh man, I love what I got. Okay, this is going straight into my kitchen after I show you um, for the season. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a little vintage apron, but it's red, white, and blue. How perfect is that? I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. She's got birds and flowers and gingham. I mean, it's so many things that I love. So I just liked, oh, I'm showing you the back. There you go, there's the front. Oh, look at those little pockets, the little pocket. So cute. And the buttons, where's the buttons? There they are. And what I do is I just tie a bow here and then I hang it on the door of my pantry and sometimes I'll wear them but mostly I just like I don't want them to get dirty because they're you know I like them to be there the whole season so I'll just hang it on the door of the pantry like this and it's just cute it's a little, little color in my kitchen I don't have a lot of wall space or counter space in my kitchen so I can't do a lot of decor so I like to you know make the most of the space that I have and then Robin found this it's gorgeous this is going to go on my counter I love it. I still haven't put out my strawberry decor. I'm working on it. I'm going to get it out today. That's my plan to get it out of the garage and then get it put out through the week. So I thought that was so cute. Love it. Oh, uh, let me look at my receipt. This was originally $8 and the booth is closing. So it was marked half off. So it was $4. So they take the tags because they need to give the tags back to the dealer. That's how it is at the Pink Elephant as well. So sometimes you don't remember, but one of these items was $350. I have a feeling this was probably $350. I think that was $350. And then ah, I love this so much. So, you know, I said I'm only buying, because I have, you know, a decent sized strawberry collection, but I'm only buying jam pots. And they had this listed as a jam pot. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm going to go with it because I think it's so adorable. I've wanted one of these. It's milk glass and then it's painted. Ah, it's so cute. Man, I love this so much. This will go on my tiered tray once I do my tiered tray strawberry. My strawberry tiered tray. Okay, so those are my three purchases from Nostalgia. Oh, it's Antiques. It wow, Nostalgia Antiques and Vintage Collectibles and Gifts is what its full name is. And the website is nostalgiahudson.com. Okay, so let's go to the next shop which was in River Falls. I'll put the name of it in the video. <gasps> You're witnessing the finding of a Holy Grail item is what I'm told. <laughs> We thought this cane was really funny because it had a horn on the end of it. <laughs> and that 125 on Main, I always love. That is actually where I got my dress form. If you've seen it in some of my other videos, it's in my vintage bedroom. And so I love that store. I didn't find as much on this day. Plus, because I knew that we were going to so many shops, I didn't want to spend too much in any one shop. So it was kind of like holding back a little bit, but I got something I adore. So I got this little case i don't even know what it was for it was only 4.95 it's got stars inside i mean i don't know if a child would have put their toys in here so cute and this graphic is like just to die for so that'll go in the vintage bedroom because i just think it's so cute uh and then i also from the same shop got this little thing and i think this was three dollars and it's just a little, you know, I collect the little mini gravy boats. Usually I try to get restaurant wear ones. This is, uh, probably, oh, this is Ironstone made in England, but I thought it was so pretty. 
and old and I like the blue. So got that for my little uh, gravy boat collection. Okay, so let's go in now to Second Chances Thrift Store. This store was having 50% off the entire store. So while their prices weren't that great to start with, the 50% off made it much better. I have some of these vintage trivets at my shop currently, but they really don't sell for me. I loved this adorable vintage mixer. Okay, so at Second Chances, I got some things for the shop. I got this milk glass mug, uh, yeah, milk glass mug, and it just says, thanks, I needed that. Milk glass mugs sell very well for me. I don't sell them for very much, but there are definitely collectors out there who like to pick these up. So that's for the shop. And then also for the shop are these little dessert dishes, I guess. Um, but this is that yellow amber glass, which has been very popular. So got these for the shop. I think that these will sell. Uh, and I paid, I think it was $4 for the set. All right, on to Treasures from the Heart. One of my friends had that pattern, their mom. Oh, that is so cute. Wow. It's totally 70s, I love it. That's oh adorable. Gosh, it's... I love the colors. It's You're really cute. Totally Saw some of these at a yard sale. Shoe stretchers. Yeah, they're upside down. Shoe what? Shoe stretchers, lady shoe oh, stretchers. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What is this glamour guard? Truly the guardians of glamour. Oh, pins. Okay, at Treasures from the Heart, I only got two items. One is for the shop and one is for me. 
So I got this for the shop. Vintage Hawaii souvenirs are pretty popular. And this is like a plate you can hang on the wall. So I thought that was really cute. It says made in Japan. So a collector of Hawaii items will like that. Sorry, the birds are just putting on a show today. And then for my little rodents collection, I got this little guy. I haven't found a rodent for my collection in a very long time. You know, I collect squirrels, skunks, little figurines, even though I don't really like those animals in real life, but I like them when they're cute and figurines. So that'll go in my little collection of rodent figurines. Okay, we made one more stop and I got no footage at all. It was called Riverwalk Antiques or something. Riverwalks Antiques and Vintage. Honestly, it was after lunch and we were kind of exhausted and a little punchy at this point. So we went in and I did not film, but I did get some cool things and they're already in place in my home. So I'm gonna just insert some footage of those items in place. One of the things that I got is this Ironstone gravy boat. I think it's fantastic. It was only $2. He had a bunch of pieces that he had labeled as garden decor. So I guess the idea is like, they're not really worth anything. I think they have chips. This one actually, oh, it has a little chip in the back there. And the idea is like, not worth anything, put it in your garden. But I think it's gorgeous. So I have it here in a little patriotic display. From that same bin that just said garden decor, I also picked up this picture, which again, I think has a little chip. Yeah, right here. But that's fine for me, I don't care. And just mark Japan. Oops, you can't see it, there we go. That was also $2, yes please. That's my picture that you saw the other day. I have it here behind the couch. Kind of messed up my spacing just then, but you get the idea. And this was actually my biggest purchase of the day. That's our dog bed, is this coal scuttle. I've always wanted one of these, but they're always kind of expensive. This one was 20 bucks and it's in really good shape. And so I put a snake plant in it. Hooper's coming to check it out. <laughs> And I love it here next to the fireplace. I've always wanted to have one by the fireplace. I thought that would be cute. We have done the town here in River Falls. We have a lot of we have a lot of packages. Okay, so that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our adventures in Hudson, Wisconsin, and River Falls, Wisconsin. Thanks so much for watching, and please take care of yourselves. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.